All right, so it's winter here officially in Nashville. We're actually having our first snow of the year. As a matter of fact, this will probably be the only snow that we have all year because that rarely happens down here. But in any case, we've got to start winterizing our trees. As a matter of fact, we probably should have started thinking about winterizing them a few weeks ago, but it is what it is and you know we're doing what we're doing right now. So we're in the cold frame right now. This is something that I built last year. Actually, right before I headed out to Japan, I put this together. And uh, what we've done is actually left the front side completely open and so we can replace the plastic every year that rolls up and rolls down to keep it from heating up too much in here over the winter. So what we're gonna do to start with here is put that plastic back up on the front side here, last for one season, take it down and chuck it out. But it does allow us to keep the temperatures in here just a little bit warmer than the outside temperatures. So before we actually start setting up the plastic on the outside, I wanted to show you what we've got in here. These are all Utah junipers back here that are obviously Yamadori. These were collected only about, I don't know, six to eight weeks ago, I guess. Uh, they were boxed up out in Wyoming and then brought straight over here. So the coloration on these guys is already the winter color. You know, when they were collected a few weeks ago, it was already seven degrees Fahrenheit, which is some massive negative number in Celsius. So it's very cold where they were collected and they are, had already put on kind of their winter, you know, yellow, brown, purple coloration. So we'll keep them in here all winter long, all summer long next year. And then by next fall, they should have grown relatively well. And then we can decide what to do with them at that point. But I wanted you guys to see what some of the material in here looks like before we cover everything up. Let's uh, go ahead and take these hinokis and slide them out a little bit, just enough so we can get behind them there. Okay, I'm up against here, so just pull it taut. I can't feel my fingers. <laughs> it's so cold. It's like paradise. Okay, and now we open the door in the middle here. Uh, you got your knife? Uh, it's on uh, the edge there. the edge there. I don't know if you should be good. Okay, cool. So this is what it looks like after we get the plastic on the front. It's not the prettiest looking thing in the world, but you know, our winters here are actually relatively mild. So originally I kind of debated on whether or not we should build like a really fancy greenhouse down here, but it's really not necessary. So just putting up something like this gets us through the winter just fine. I mean, the lowest temperatures we'll get here will be in like the teens, for example, which is Fahrenheit, obviously, uh, which is probably gonna be somewhere like, I don't know, minus eight minus nine, somewhere in that range. So not ridiculously cold, and that's only for like a few days in February every year. So majority of the winter we hover kind of like right around freezing. So, you know, a facility like this will cover it. As a matter of fact, the first time I built this last year and put the plastic up on the front, my wife said it looked like Dexter's Kill Room. I don't know if you guys have ever seen the, the Showtime series Dexter, where he kills people. You know, he's a serial killer. She said it looks like his kill room, which really hurt me after I spent all that time building it, but I don't care. It's practical and it works. He looks like uh, Ace Ventura when he's coming out of that, <laughs> that fake rhinoceros.
Get in the jeep. So all the small stuff we can just put underneath the benches, but all the big guys are not going to fit, obviously. I don't want to clog up the walkway, so we'll take all of these and put them under the first bay of the uh, arbor there. And then if we need to, we can cover that at some point, too. Um, cool. All right. Yeah, go ahead and put the small stuff down first. Just line it on up. That should be good, I think. We'll move the rest of the big guys up under here as well, kind of pack them together. Put that juniper, the Sabina, down the trident maple, black pine, all the black pines, basically everything on that second row on the ground. If they fit under the bench, put them under the bench. Chojibai? Yeah, Chojibai too. Let's put that Hinoki down too. What is it? It's a dead mouse. <laughs> oh my god. It's a boy. <laughs> Alright, let's go check that out. <laughs> So for the last few days, our apprentice here at ASAN Cameron has been working on this massive ponderosa pine here. I think it actually turned out really, really good. This tree was actually originally collected by a friend of the garden, Mauro Stemberger from Italian Bonsai Dream. Shout out to Mauro. Uh, he collected this tree in, I guess it was probably 2016, I would think, 2017, somewhere around there, out in Colorado. And then I purchased it from him. We brought it here to ASAN. And then for our open house event on September 1st, 2018, Naoki Mayoka styled this tree. So this is the second iteration of styling on this guy. We just kind of readjusted a few things here and there, pulled the branches in a little bit tighter to give it a more elegant look. But overall, I think it looks really good. Let me know in the comments what you think of the tree. Give Cameron some love down there as well. I think the tree looks awesome. It's going to be a spectacular Boonjin tree in the long run. You like the results? Yeah. Me too. I think it went pretty well.